Okay, I did some more work on the power supply in between amplifier stuff. So I punched the holes for the intake, used my hydraulic press, got the filter caps in. So let me explain this. There are 60 microfarads each. They're going in series. So they are secured to wood because they have to be, when you have caps in series, if one cap can't handle the total voltage that are across them, you have to isolate them from each other and ground potential. So I think this is like Douglas fir at the bottom. So they're epoxied to each one. Then I have four number 10 screws, two on each side. I pre-drilled the holes and they go into the six ply to secure them. So I've never had a problem with one of these caps, but if I did, if, if the customer did, the whole assembly can come out, okay? So you also have to have uh, resistors across each one. So I'm using four resistors for this amp. They'll be mounted on the wall. They're 100K each, so 400K total. The center of the resistors has to be tied to the center junction point. So basically two resistors per cap across each cap. So the voltage is equal among each one. So I got two of the contactors just laying in here. I'm just setting the parts, uh, part layout. Sorry, pull my pants up. Um, there's a third contactor that's going in for the soft start because I'm switching both sides of the line. Rated for 40 amps per pole. The maxi pole is around 70 amps peak. Uh, if, he, um, if he's not <clears throat> doing a continuous carrier at full output, otherwise it would be around 70 amps average. So, got two 3CX3000 filament transformers, brand new. They're going in parallel and they'll be adjusted with the Variac. Uh, since they're rated for more total current, then what is needed for the 6000, they will be okay running at a reduced voltage because the filament is 7, 7 volts versus 7.5. So there's the Variac 240 Variac. Um, knob will be coming off and I'm going to try to put a right angle on it so he'll be able to adjust it from the rear. I put the strain relief. This all just takes time. You know, strain relief for the cord, which is. 2 gauge, 3 conductor, S-O-O-W. So I'm going to go from that over to 3 number 8s, and then same with the transformer. I know it's overkill, but, you know, the three terminals, why not use all three, right? So um, that's that, and uh, I'll get more done when I have some more time. The blower is, I've shown it before, it's a uh, EBM Pabst. Basically, the blower is going to be mounted Probably going to put it over here. It'll be mounted like this. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Probably uh, right angle aluminum against the side wall and another one over here and then I'll have to run material across and it'll just sit and um, have a hole in the top cover and then a hole in the bottom of the RF deck. Actually it's going to be back more and then I'll have this neoprene material for like a seal and it'll have a pressure interlock so if it wasn't positioned right or he lost the blower, because this will be in a different room away from him. Um, it'll shut the plate down, shut the film, and shut everything off. Okay, so thanks for watching. The, amp, the website's amprepairguy.com. I have not drilled the holes for these yet. These will get washers and screws also holding in place. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.